guys is all right? All right, going up on this one.
had to stop for a minute, but... Hi, sir. This is a blast from the past. You wouldn't expect he's describing one of the world's most technologically advanced high altitude reconnaissance jets. However, they keep finding brand new things to do with this aircraft, so we keep finding ways to put it in the air. That aircraft would be the U-2, a high flying reconnaissance jet that has marked its place into history after over a half century of service. There's a group of airmen at Beale Air Force Base in California that without, the U-2 would never take flight to capture the invaluable images that throughout its history have kept America safe. To me, the U-2 is almost going back to the Wilbur Wright days. It is fly-by cable. That makes the U-2 unique. While fifth-generation fighter jets like the F-22 feature fly-by wire flight control systems that allow electronics and fiber optics to control the aircraft, the U-2 uses a manual flight control system, mechanically operated by cables. All these cables, F-22 doesn't run off cables, it runs off its fly-by-wire, fiber optics. He moves a stick, it's like 
that. This, it's done by a cable that's strung up all the way into the cockpit. U2 phase technicians are tasked with performing inspections and maintenance on each U2 for every 800 flight hours the aircraft is put through. With the U2 flying all around the world, 800 flight hours goes by faster than you would expect. It's the job of maintainers here at the 9th Maintenance Squadron maintenance flight to ensure each U2 remains ready for service at all times. I like to use the uh, oil change analogy. It's very simple. Every 3,000 miles, let's say you had to put your car into uh, to get its oil changed. Well, we do the same thing for this aircraft. However, we do it by flight hours. Even with the constant turnaround of aircraft, maintainers here are able to perform full phase inspections in just 10 days, down from 16 just under two years ago under the AFSO 21 program. AFSO 21 stands for Air Force Smart Operation of the 21st Century. So basically, we eliminated over 60% of the touch time in order to do the same exact inspection. An accomplishment that the airmen here pride themselves on for streamlining an already challenging and difficult process. The U-2 is expected to remain viable until at least 2040. One thing's for sure that as long as the U-2 continues to fly, a proud group of maintainers will do all they can to accomplish the mission. Actually, it's very exciting for my maintainers. They really love working on the U-2. Uh, they do it every day. So the fact that it's staying here for another 40 years, 30 years, however many years, they love it. For Beale Air Force Base, I'm Airman Andrew Buchanan.